And now a message from the First Lady of the United States. Hi, I'm Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Ladies, can I have a word with you? You know, when I'm testifying before a Senate subcommittee or sitting through a lengthy deposition, sometimes I just don't feel as fresh as I'd like to. Oh, no. <clears throat> Down there. And boy, can oh, that be God. embarrassing. Has this ever happened to you? All right, uh, I bring this uh, committee to order. Now, uh, Mrs. Uh, Clinton, we appreciate your appearance before this uh, subcommittee. I'd like to be... Uh, 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 wait, wait a minute, there's, a, uh, there's something uh, fishy going on around here. Holy mackerel. What? Uh, let's take a recess, gentlemen. Uh, clerk... Ouch. And as every woman knows, it's hard to be romantic when you're not feeling fresh. Let's just say Bill has been spending less and less time in the <clears throat> Oval Office, if you know what I mean. That's why I'm proud to introduce my first feminine hygiene product. I call it Hillary's White Water and Vinegar. <laughs> and does it work? Just listen. Well, all right, uh, come back to order. Welcome back, uh, Hillary Clinton. Uh, may I call you Hillary? Of course, Senator. Uh, well, Hillary, uh, thanks for appearing before our committee. May I say that upon further review, more than one member found your testimony quite refreshing. Now, if you'll meet me in my chambers, there's a little loophole I'd like to examine. And then perhaps <laughs> a little dinner we can order in or eat out. <laughs> this hearing is adjourned. Now that's a tongue lashing I can live with. That's Hillary's white water and vinegar. Think of it as your own Secretary of the Interior. And for a limited time, it's available in a collector's edition decanter, shaped just like the presidential limousine. I call it my little douche coupe. <laughs> and by the way, as far as romance goes, since I've been using Hillary's white water and vinegar, the most popular bush at the White House isn't named George. Right, honey? Come here, you little vixen. You better change your name to Gallup, because you're about to take a poll. Ooh, now that's what I call an executive branch. She's looking good and feeling fresh. Her man will never leave her. With white water and vinegar, she's busy as a beaver. That's Hillary's white water and vinegar. Put one in your cabinet today. Thank you, Mr. President. And don't forget to try the new minty, fresh mouthwash that everyone's talking about. It's part Mrs. Clinton. Part Lavoris. It's Hillary's Clintoris. <laughs> Look what happens after just one use. Well, now about that policy matter, Mr. President, I feel we could. Uh... Hey, you know, Mr. President, I can't help but notice your breath smells like Hillary's Clintoris. Well, if you must know, Hillary and I had a few beers in the Lincoln bedroom last night. <laughs> one thing led to another. I didn't inhale, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. I met Hillary's Clintoris, the minty fresh mouthwash. If you gargle every day, you'll sing a happy chorus. <laughs> Take one whiff and you will say, that's Hillary's Clintoris. Hillary's Clintoris, Clintoris, A division of Frigamall Industries, Altoona, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>